What's up guys? Thanks man here. So in this video, I'm going to show off some changes for popular items in Project Diablo 2 Season 3, which begins, is it July 23rd or some shit? I don't remember. It's, it's, it's later in July. 23rd, yeah. Okay. And the beta starts the 13th, but Ice Boy, I don't do betas, man. I only take part in alpha shit. So, here's a big one. Alright. Spirit has been fucked up the ass in Project Diablo 2, as many of you might know. The sword and shield, for example, both only give one to all skills now. Their faster hit recovery has received the shaft up the tail as well. Ugh. And maybe a few other minor nerfs. It was to balance things out, you know what I'm saying? Because everyone uses the spirit and shit. But now, you can make it in a staff, is the fucking point. I'll get to the fucking point. So, and, and staves now have base FCR on them, alright? So make sure to get an elite staff that you make your rune words in. Because they have 50 FCR. Whereas exceptional ones have 30 FCR, and normal mode ones have 10 FCR. So in this example, it was made in an elite staff. So it gives an additional 50 FCR. So yeah, Spirit now, 82 FCR. Pretty fucking impressive. This ain't like, most likely isn't gonna be end game shit. I mean, you can make infinity in staffs now, which can have uh, up to 85 FCR in total. So pretty damn impressive, but <clears throat> this is a, a, a good starter, you know, and you can find one that has your skills on it and go from there. So yeah, Spirit Staff is, is pretty decent now, and it's actually an entirely new thing now, because you couldn't make Spirit in a Staff before. So here's Doom, and you can make this in a Staff as well. Pretty fucking impressive. 80 FCR, because it's made in an Archon Staff, and Doom now rolls with 30 FCR on it. I don't think it ever had FCR, did it? I don't think so. A few other minor changes. Molten Boulder, Over Volcano, something to do with glitches and shit. The Pierce itself might have been nerfed just ever so slightly because this is going to be pretty crazy, man. Using this on a cold sork, uh, it, it has potential. Find this shit with a ton of frozen orb on it or something, imagine that. All right, last wish, last toad. Very fucking impressive. Uh, this uh, this is better than vanilla LOD last wish, I believe, which was pretty decent in itself. Although I, I take that back slightly because fade has been fucked in PD2. Uh, to what extent I can't really pinpoint in this video, but it's not godly as fuck anymore. All right, fade has received the shaft ever so slightly. And I think Crushing Blow has received the shaft ever so slightly as well. But Last Wish has received buffs. For one, it has this cool as fuck uh, proc where it uh, has a 60% chance to cast level 40 charged bolts. So you're going to be spewing godly charged bolts all over the fucking place. Uh, let me know in the comments if any of you guys know how much damage does a level 40 charged bolt do? A non-synergized? Let me know if any of you dogs uh, have a clue as to what damage that shit does. Uh, it'll just, it'll look cool, you know what I'm saying? And style is important in PD2, all right? You gotta look good. But one of the biggest things, uh, a pretty decent increase in damage here, potentially over 100% uh, damage increase on the roll. Because Last Wish now rolls 450 to 500 percent enhanced damage, so I just imagine a godly, as a told barbarian, frenzy Baba wielding this shit, or a godly zeal paladin, something of that sort. Maybe even a vengeance paladin, because vengeance paladins are a thing now in PD2 season three. Maybe a droid. Imagine a droid who uses uh, storm shield and shit and uses 
Fan, or not fan, that's the Amazon. What's that? I get the two confused because they have the same sort of effect. The one where he just attacks really fast. Fury. You know, the droid in Fury and this shit. Imagine that, dog. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, Last Wish, it might be something to strive for. Something for us top-tier toads to strive for in PD2 Season 3. One would speculate anyway. Uh, I've been broke as fuck the past couple ladders. I, I have a couple high runes here and now. I just never spend them, man. I'm too cheap. But uh, if, if it was justifiable, you know, and hell, I could take a couple handouts here and there too, just to make one. Maybe I'll take a couple handouts here and there if they're offered to me. Just to make a last wish, because I want to see this shit in action. Imagine a frenzy barb willing this with like uh, five socketed or six-socketed ethereal grandfather in his other hand. Imagine that sh <clears throat> Imagine that shit. All right, this is big, all right? This is huge. Uh, the fact that Arcane Sanctuary now has wide tunnels and shit, wide walkways and shit in the Arcane Sanctuary. Very appeasing to the public, you know what I'm saying? Now, uh, it's not going to be as stressful because, I ain't going to lie, when I'm running initially through normal mode, making my first character, making my second character, uh, the Arcane Sanctuary is kind of stressful because I know a bunch of us dogs are going to be all hoarded up and people are going to be getting in others' ways. And it's just going to be tedious and annoying getting through that shit. We're going to get whacked and killed. But now, it's wide. Just like the... Uh, just like the maggot layer, all right? The maggot layer, the tunnels in there, they're wide. They're kind of like this. So keep that in mind. What the fuck? So silence has a change as well. Doll, eld, hell. Port, ith, ith, turvex. Shit. I think it's ith, but I don't know. Okay, so silence. What, what has come of silence? Wow. <clears throat> what? 399 enhanced damage? The fuck? Uh, Alright, let's take a look here. Thornzara. Okay, Thornzara. Oh, right. Th Thylan's never had Thornzara, so... Wait a fucking toad. This had cleansing. Where the fuck is cleansing? I think Silence had cleansing, right? I don't know. Alright, it has Thorns Aura now, and uh, it buffed from 200% to 300 to 400%. So apparently Thorns has uh, potentially doubled in its effect, but I don't know. I feel like there's more to it than just that, because doubling in its effect, isn't it still going to fucking suck? I don't know. But, uh... Oh! Oh, yeah, 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 dumbass. Okay, so the, the 200... These numbers don't have anything to do with the Thorns, alright? So it now has Thorns Aura. And Thorns has been buffed. All right. To what extent, I don't know. I think it's some base damage and shit going on there, but but Thorns has been buffed. Apparently, it's going to be relatively usable in Season 3, Project Diablo 2. In Season 2, I put a Bramble on my Act 1 Mercenary. So all my skeletons had level 17, 18 Thorns or whatever. And it wouldn't do shit. I tested it in so many ways. I just had my necromancer wearing it with with no summons whatsoever. I just went up to enemies, let them hit me. You couldn't even see their health go down. They would just generate back up. See, it was completely fucking useless. So apparently it's going to be somewhat useful now. I guess we'll find out. But yeah, so silence also does a hell of a lot more damage. Because it used to do 200, now it does 300. Holy shit. 300 to 400. I mean, shit, maybe a barbarian would be okay with this. With Last Wish in one hand, Silence in another. Imagine that. I mean, it has all res, 50. Used to give 75, but two to all skills. I mean, there's got to be some build that's going to benefit off that. Let me know in the comments below. Faith, which has been fucked vastly. A uh, uh, very... It's, it's, it's been in bad shape, all right, in PD2. It's been in really bad shape. Ja has lost its value tremendously uh, because Faith is a piece of shit. I put one on my Mercenary, but I was better off putting something else on her, like Beast, uh, or on uh, uh, the man, rather, over the Wabin. Put the Beast on the man, and I think it would have been a better build setup. 
I still might try that, but anyway, faith has been buffed a little bit. Let's see what it did. Reanimate from four to eight percent now, so you got a little bit higher reanimate, but that's barely even the issue at all. Uh, 250 to 300 enhanced damage. And I guess it used to be 200 to 250. <clears throat> all right, so including Omrin. So yeah, Faith has, uh, and as you can see here, the base damage is getting up to where it uh, it kind of used to be. Uh, you'd have it on a Grand Matron non-superior back in the day, and I think it'd be slightly over 300 max damage on a Grand Matron. So it's it's. I mean, shit, really, it's, it's, it has ITD on it, it has the massive AR bonus. Oh, it doesn't give two to all skills, that was kind of a big deal. All right, it doesn't give one to two to all skills anymore. They get used to, but that's how it's been in PD2. Okay, Voice of Reason, what the toad? Can be made in bows, and uh, 355, 375, to 255, oh, to 375 damage under, okay. So this can be made in bows, Lemco L Elds. Frozen orb on striking, that might be interesting. Uh, ice blast on striking. Yeah, so imagine a bunch of frozen orbs as a uh, bows on. So something like this I think could be used for Chaos Sanctuary runs because isn't it entirely undead and demons in Chaos Sanctuary? Um, not on the way. Or maybe it is, maybe the whole fucking river of flame. I, I can't quite recall. I, I can't remember if those uh, those those palish beige colored spider thingies. Those are demons, I think. So but I, I don't know if there's beasts in there or not. The Urders, aren't those demons? But you could wear something like this in uh, certain areas and run them and uh, you'll do a lot of damage, you know? And it's cheap to make, which is a, a massive benefit. <clears throat> no way to get back to town until all Uber Trist bosses are down. So a new replacement for Uber Tristram item. You can't go to town at all until they're all killed. Can you run it with your homies? I don't know. Good question. Good question, Ice Boy. So Steel Rune Word now available in Claws. I, uh, I don't recall if I knew that it wasn't. But, uh, so nonetheless, it'll be a, a nice starter weapon for an assassin. Fuck. Okay. Ooh, Lawbringer. Law, what'd they do to Lawbringer? Level has now... Now has level 18... 16, 18 amp damage. Okay, and works with claws. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. This works with claws. Uh, it might be decent, actually. Have it in offhand or something. Yeah, Pattern has been around in PD2. It's a uh, it's an old uh, rune word that they never implemented into LOD Classic. That was like in the in the base mechanics or some shit. ED from so it has more ED, uh, not just a function but uh, damage rather. King's Grace now works in claws. That's interesting. See, just this rune word that like no one would ever make. Amral Thal. Damage. So it's cheap to make. Yeah, and that would be a decent claw item. I can see that. Some decent damage and some leech and stuff like that. Crescent Moon. Works in claws. Holy shit. Wow, you could have a badass uh, martial arts assassin of some sort. Because Crescent Moon's cool. It does static and lightning. And uh, isn't it pierce? Oh. Okay, Crescent Moon has been fucked, but it used to pierce lightning res by a lot. But now it's it's just by a little bit, but whatever. It has some other cool uh, features that might be that might be What the fuck? Okay, there it is in a thresher now. So it can be made in staffs as well. And see next image. <clears throat> yeah, so light pierce has been nerfed. Palumed and spears get 24. Send proc for static. Oh, wow. Oh, 20 to 30 all attributes on insight now. So uh, you can glitch it on your Merc maybe more efficiently. Breath of the Dying increase from 330 to 360 hands damage to 350 to 375. Oh, good. So they, they, they buffed BOTD just a little bit. And they buffed the stats a little bit again. Uh, it used to give like 30 to all, but now it gives 20 to 30 to all. More lifesteal. So... 
Uh, Breath of the Dying has been uh, buffed a little bit. To summon an additional Hydra. Yeah, hell yeah, with Dragon. And I think uh, Dragon Dens are actually known to uh, to fight D-Clone. Quarter health remaining on D-Clone seems to spawn lots of skeletal mages. Okay. Wrath? Paul Lumber Mal? What they do to it? 60% chance to cast stamp damage, so a nice, uh, an interesting bow. Large charms, 1-3% to LS skill damage includes magic. What the fuck? These are like questions. Oh! 3% to, to, wow! Holy shit! So I guess uh, some builds might be looking out for this stuff. Uh, large charms might uh, have some viability now if they can give base like elemental percent added damage. That's interesting. Phoenix um, enhanced damage moved up to 400 to 450. Okay. There it is in an axe. Eternity. You may now summon an additional three revives, increased to six revives. So eternity. Uh, I always thought, you know, this would be interesting to have, like, on a Frenzy Barbarian as well. Just reanimating all this shit. And the revives, this actually gives you a base level revive, so it's not, uh... And imagine Thorns coupled with this. With all your minions, if Thorns will actually be decent. You have a Barbarian with a bunch of revived slash, uh, reanimate anim uh, homies. With Thorns applied to all of them. Bone Spear, 15% on striking. Now has 30% on striking. Nice. On striking, so who the hell's gonna wear this? A, a melee necromancer or some shit? Uh, higher uh, amp damage on brand bow. Heart of the Oak, what the toad did you do to that? Now works in staff and Oak Sage charges return. But why would you make that in a staff? Oh, so you could have a ton of FCR, I guess. But yeah, it'd be hard to justify that when you could like have uh, Lilith's, Lilith's shield and get an additional two skills. I guess for certain breakpoints you might want that. Sir L on wind. Uh, more damage. So this could be an interesting claw. Memory. From 20% max mana to 20 to 40%. Lum, Isle, Sal, Ath. Oh, that's really cheap. And again, this could be you know, a starter item you can make for Sorceress because it comes in a, in a staff and it's cheap to make. So as long as you can find a nice base. Prudence from 20 FCR to 30 FCR. Wow. Oh, wow. All res, uh, 25. Okay, but it's a Mal rune. But, uh, I mean, you get a lot of res and you get, you know, you get some other shit. I mean, it's kind of like Viper Magey only with a few benefits, but a few cons. So, I don't know. It, it, I mean, you don't get the skill, however. It's kind of a big deal. So, would you really spend a Malrune on that? Uh, in some cases, I think you would. Enlightenment from 10 FCR, not uh, 20 FCR and Enlightenment. Okay, so that's kind of helpful. So just a lot of changes to these, uh, these class-specific uh, rune words. Principle 75, chance to cast level 25, Holy Bolt on striking instead of 100% chance, level 5, reverted to Ralgol. Okay, so these are like questions and shit, but I mean, nonetheless, it's showcasing uh, changes. Exile with amp damage, 25% chance, level 18 now. Holy fucking shit! Okay, I thought I thought there was like a ton left, but I guess that's it. Okay, so Splendor, uh, MF, some minor MF change, Sanctuary, Necro Shields can now get 30s? Oh, shit. Oh, so you can make Sanctuary and a Necro Shield. Wow, so Necro Shields can now get three sockets, apparently. And a bunch of other notes here, man. This is fucked up. All right, so I'll send this, I'll have this link in the video description, right? But let me know what you guys think about these changes. Uh, are you pleased with all this shit? Are you looking forward to season three, PD two? Uh, let me know in the comments below. 
become a patron if you want. Appreciate you guys uh, for supporting the Ice Boy. More videos to come. I look forward to uh, trying out season three. I'm still uh, kind of uh, considering between a summon necromancer and a lightning sork. So I don't know which one to start out with. Let me know in the comments below which one do you think I should start out with. Peace be with you.